coach? Good, how are you? Good. How was practice today? Uh, it was up and down. You know, third and long day, so that should naturally go to the defense day one. And I think you felt that, so you felt a lot of great energy on the defense. And I thought the offense, you know, we didn't have as low of a low as you can have on those days, which was a positive, because we've been preaching adversity, because we responded well with the last set. Whereas, you know, maybe in years prior, uh, you would have seen us completely fall out the entire day. So that was something I was pleased with. Obviously, we do a lot on third and long, so we got to schematically kind of catch our guys up to you know what we're doing scheme wise. First, first practice in full pads, you'd probably like to see how the offense ran the ball there. Yeah, we did. I mean, you know, Relique ran the ball pretty well there at the end. Scouts were running the ball well. You know, it was a, it was a good day from that perspective. What do you think about Todd being out here? It's awesome. I mean, he was out here and I said, you better be talking to the team. I mean, it's cool. We, we're out here. The one thing that's unique is we're in a city where professional athletes come to train. So I have two of my former guys out here, Alex Forsyth and TJ Bass, who are training out here in the off season. Uh, and they're out here watching practice because they love ball. And where do they train? They train here. And I think that's one thing people overlook a little bit in the recruiting process is all of the resources that this city has when you are in the NFL, even when you're in the off season here and coaches can't coach you, we have guys that NFL players come to train in those off seasons that you can utilize now through NIL and actually continue to shape your game and improve your game during times that you know you can't see your coach and these guys are a living testament of it. What do you think of uh, guys like Jordan Tyson being back in the mix and you know what he adds to this group? Yeah, I mean, Jordan has all the ability in the world. And I think uh, day by day, he's getting better and better and better. And, uh, you know, you see the flashes, the flashes, the flashes, the flashes, right? And uh, one of these days, we're going to come out here and it's going to become a fire. And uh, that's what we're waiting on. And it's really easy to look at a guy like, easy to look at a guy like Relic Brown and say, okay, he's just explosive, he just runs off the edge. But the way he runs in, in the middle, is that something you probably expected to see from him anyway? In the words of a good buddy of mine, there ain't no soft baked cookies out here. <laughs> Right, that's what my good buddy Carlos Lachlan, and he used to always say that, and uh, it's so true. Like, you better run hard. We're gonna be a, a team that runs the ball in between the tackles, and you know people don't understand. Relique's 190 pounds. Relique's not a 170 pound, 175 pound slot receiver right now. He's a 190 pound back. Uh, he's actually very similar to you know a Kenny Gainwell type player that I've coached in the past. Can flex out, uh, but from a stature, movement, size, all that. What's your hands on the ability to get more explosive plays at this point? Oh, that's going to happen. Uh, I'm, I'm very confident in that. You can see it even out in practice today, you know, getting guys like Jordan back, Drake back, Troy back, Scott back uh, with uh, 20 pounds less. So he's moving really, really well. Kaisem's a little, a little bigger, faster this year. They're just the overall team speed on offense. Uh, is drastically different. Well, with Relique, I mean, how do you feel these first few practices with the running back? Room? Yeah, I think we're more explosive. And I think that's the, the biggest takeaway from this spring so far in that room is we're more explosive. We're creating bigger plays. You talked earlier about guys like Jake Smith and X Alfred being bonus guys. What is your take on how X has kind of looked to this point? Yeah, he's done a really nice job for us. He's a leader for our team. Our guys kind of rely on him. I was listening to Miles Rouser the other day talk. I listen to every single media that every single one of our guys does. And he was talking about how, you know, X, who plays the same position, took him in, trying to teach him the, the defense, trying to get him engaged. And right there is the definition of leadership because you're taking a guy who's competing for your spot and you're helping him grow. And uh, so I'm firing up for X, him on the football field. Uh, there was a reason he was, you know, a high, high four-star slash five-star recruit. That was an accident, and you can see it now. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.